Mison claims to be the fastest build system in the world for C++. Today I'll show you how to use Mison to build your code. Use it and find out for yourself how fast it really is. Hi, Zen here and welcome to my channel. Let's install Mison first on our system. We use uh, the package manager to do that, so sudo apt-get install Mison and we need to enter the password for that and then it's gathering the Mison version for you and you have Mison itself installed on your system. Then let's start with a simple example. So we have a single C++ file, in this case it's called main.c++ and we want to build this using Mison. Now what we need to do is uh, to create alongside this file a file that is called Mison.build. Inside this file it's pretty straightforward. We need to declare a project. In this case, we call it simple. And then we also need to declare the languages that are used inside this project. The second thing that we define is uh, executable. So we want to have this project with a single executable and we want to call the executable simple and it should consist of the file main.cpp. This is already everything that you need to build and run a simple C++ program using Mison. So let's go to our folder. I'm already here in the uh, right directory. Now we need to do th two things. The first thing is we need to do the Mison configuration. So to do that we call Mison and then we specify this folder where this needs to be um, executed and we want to create here a separate build folder and that's already it. Then it will use Mison to install or to um, create this build repository, build a directory and to include um, the build tree in there. Afterwards Mison knows now how to build the code and we need now just to build it. We use this by using the backend of Ninja and we say that Ninja should be in executed in the directory build and we want to build the target called simple because this is the name that we gave it. So we hit that and we see that it's built and inside our build directory we now find the output that is also named simple. So let's run it and see whether it actually does the job. So we go to the build directory and call it and we see it gives us the correct output. Let's have a look at the more complex project next. So we have here a project which is in this case called complex and inside here we have this main.cpp file and it's including several dependencies. One of them is shape and one of them is line and we see them, they are alongside also the main main.cpp file. Now if we go to the meson.build, we see that it basically didn't change at all. We introduced an additional file structure, which is uh, including the files that you need. It's called main, line and shape. These are the cpp files and then we create the executable using exactly these files. The second thing that we want to do is we want to have the opportunity to select a different compiler, to select some compile flags, to select some optimization levels. Mison uses a separate file to do this. In this case, we call it native.build to show that this one is for native compilation. So native compilation means you run something on the same machine that you have built the code. So here in this case, we create the native.build Mison file and we are able to now specify, for instance, the C compiler, the C++ compiler, or also the C standard or the C++ standard that is being used, as well as the optimization level. Let's go to the project now and build this. So we go to the complex project and when we now build this, what we need to do, we want to create the build directory again, but this file, this time with an additional native file. 
So we say minus minus native file, and this one is native.build. And now it uses the content of the native.build file to configure the output. So we already see here that now the compiler has changed. So previously it was the C++ compiler from GCC. And here we see now it's Clang, uh, Clang compiler um, that is being used to build this program. To build it, we need to run ninja again by calling minda-c build because we want to run it in the build directory and we want to build the target complex. And here we see that it's already built four different files because we here have now four different steps to execute to compile the program. Ninja already has some very good dependency tracking included. This means that it will only rebuild everything that actually has been changed. So for instance, if I go now into the line.cpp file and I add here a space and save and go back and rebuild my program, it will only rebuild exactly two targets or two uh, files. In this case, it will rebuild line and then it will link again the target executable. So it's really fast in detecting this. That's already all that I have for you today. You see that it's fairly easy to use. Mison is a great tool for small, for big project. And I have used it professionally now for quite a while. And I have to say that it's really amazingly fast, even if you have big projects that you want to use it on. It has a few quirks, so the language is not as expressive as Python, for instance. But in reality, this hardly makes a difference in usage. So. I think it's great for many of the projects and it's still under fairly good development. So check it out, try it and uh, write below what you think of it. And thanks for tuning in. If you like the content, please subscribe and as always, happy coding.